In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear children, friends of Jesus, you're welcome on your program. Our program, when we come together to pray together on Uganda Catholic Television, Good News for All. I'm Dorothy Atire Songo. And with me, we have pupils, learners of uh, St. Peter's Primary School of Zambia. And they are here to animate us so beautifully. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. My Bible tells me so. Let us pray. God of love, you call us always to recognize Jesus in our words, in our actions, in our, in our thoughts. We pray, dear God, that you help us to grow into the people that you desire us to be.
children today we are celebrating a very special sunday what sunday is it dear children it is the 18th sunday yeah we are celebrating the 18th sunday of ordinary time in year a and also i welcome you dear children to the month of august the month of august is a very special month that gives us beautiful life experiences with, with a very special person in the church, a very special mother. Children, do you know who that mother is? Yes. Who is she? Mother Mary. Mother Mary, the month of August, we are called to consecrate ourselves to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And there is also a very special feast about Mother Mary in this month of August. And what feast is that, dear children? Assumption Day of Mother Mary. The Assumption Day, the Assumption Feast of Mother Mary. It's the day when Mother Mary is assumed into heaven. And what date, what date do we celebrate that feast? 15th of August. Yes, every 15th of August, all of us Catholics in the whole world, whether in Uganda, whether you're in Kenya, whether you're in America, whether you're in Oceania, whether you're in Asia, whether you're in Madagascar, wherever you are, whether you're in Europe, we come together to pray, to celebrate this special feast of assumption and by the way it is also among the days of obligation for us catholics the days of obligation when we have to go to church to pray so children for this month we are invited to say a very special prayer what prayer is it dear children praying the rosary we are invited to pray the rosary when we pray the rosary then we are sharing in the life of jesus we are we are sharing in the life of mother mary and we are also sharing in the life of saint joseph basically the life of the family of jesus understanding his childhood when growing up understanding what he went through while living, how he related with people, how he died also. And we also get to know the triumphant resurrection when he triumphed over death and he resurrected from the dead. And also we get to know how he ascended into heaven and how the Holy Spirit comes and dwells in us and always guides us to pray to live together and to be well-behaved children, children of God, children of the church, and children of our families who represent well our schools, our communities, and even ourselves. So dear children, for this month, let us call upon Mother Mary and be close to her, always telling her what we need in our hearts what our families need and what every child needs so dear children today as we celebrate the 18th sunday of ordinary time year a we shall have the gospel reading from the gospel according to matthew chapter 17 verse 1 to 9 
speak to us, dear Jesus, for you are our preacher. Open our hearts to receive your word. His face shone like the sun. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became, became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a loud voice that said, This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise, do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Rosh. I'm from St. Peter's Primary School in Zambia. And this is what the Bible reading has taught me. When the three disciples and Jesus Christ were going up the mountain, they saw Elijah and Moses. This means there is, there is life after death, and that life is completely different from the one here on earth. My name is Narwa Marozet, and I'm here to tell you about what I've learned from the Gospel of the God. Jesus assures us that he's the Son of God by the voice which was spoken through the clouds, which was saying that, this is my beloved Son, listen to him. That tells us that Jesus is the true Son of God. My name is Judith Hope, from St. Peter's Primary School in Zambia. What I have learned from the Gospel is that when Jesus and his disciples went on the mountain and they saw Elijah and Moses, one of his disciples told Jesus that, let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But, but a voice came from the clouds saying, this is my beloved son with whom I am pleased. This teaches us that our God, we cannot compare ourselves with our God. Our God is totally different from any other person. My name is Ariana Harriet. I'm from St. Peter's Primary School in Zambia. What I have learned from the Bible reading is that when Jesus' face shone like the sun, he revealed his divine nature by showing that he's the true son of God. What I've learned from the reading is that when Jesus showed his divine power, the, dis the disciples fell. But he came to them and touched them and told them that, Rise, don't be afraid. This teaches us that in life, any challenge you get, don't be afraid, but Jesus is by your side. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. A memory verse is from the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 17 verse 5. This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased listen to him. This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased listen to him. The Gospel is telling us today that the Holy Spirit, the voice came from heaven saying this is my beloved son. 
meaning that God was acknowledging Jesus as his beloved son. And also, today's gospel is showing us the glory of Jesus. You heard how Jesus, how Jesus was transfigured, the transfiguration of Jesus, how his face was shining, how his clothes were shining, and everything was very beautiful. Today, really, it is a Sunday when we remember the glory of Jesus, the love that God also has for Jesus to acknowledge that Jesus is his beloved son. So children, the memory verse is, this is my beloved son with whom I'm pleased. Listen to him. Good morning, Father. Children, we are going to pray that God hears our prayers more so in this month of August. That Mother Mary holds our hands, Mother Mary protects us under her mantle so that we are able to grow into good children. We pray. For church leaders. Lord, we pray for the Pope, Cardinals, Bishops, Priests, and Catechists. May the Lord guide them always to, to do His work eff effectively. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. A prayer for our school. Father, I pray for our school, St. Peter's Primary School in Zambia. May you send your Holy Spirit on us all and on the people who work from there. I also pray for prosperity and success in everything we do. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Prayer for our parents. Dear Lord, we pray for our parents. May you shower them with your blessings so that they can be able to provide our needs, especially our school fees. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. A prayer for the needy. Loving Father, I pray for all people who are in need. May you extend your helping hand upon them and they may overcome what they are going through. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. A prayer for the souls in purgatory. Lord, I pray for all the souls of the departed. Especially, especially those who have no one to pray for them. Eternal rest grant unto them, O oh Lord. And let a patience shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O oh Lord. And let a patience shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O oh Lord. And let a patience shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. Dear children, friends of Jesus, as we shared at the beginning that it's a very special month that we are in when we are to celebrate the Assumption of Mother Mary come 15th of August. Our friends are going to share with us some of the messages that they have for us for this month. Messages about Mother Mary and Please out there, if you have any messages you'd love to share with us about this month, please 
you're welcome to, to share with us. Remember, every time we share what we have, it is an act of love. It is an act of charity that we share our lives, we share what we know with others. In that, then we shall be able to grow. Let me share with you something about Mother Mary. Mother Mary is the mother of the church. She gave birth to the Son of God. Me what I know about Mother Mary, she is our advocate, which means she pleads for us before her son. My name is Eva Lepiti. What I know about Mother Mary, she is the seat of wisdom. What I know about Mother Mary, she is a mother of the word. What I know about Mother Mary is that she is pure. This means that she has never committed any sin. She is a miracle worker. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Thank you, dear children, for being part of the program. Thank you for praying so beautifully. Thank you, our dear parents, for always bringing us together to pray and be part of the program. Thank you, the liturgy teachers out there, for your cooperation, for the great ideas that you have. Our dear priests, we thank you for all the guidance that you give us to make this program better. And to you, dear children, thank you for always participating. And please keep watching Uganda Catholic Television. Good news for all. This is your program. You're always welcome to share your ideas, to share your prayers, to share your faith. Let us keep growing together in this family of faith, prayer, and charity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye-bye. Keep watching Uganda Catholic Television. Good news for all.